up with it, y'all? It's EJO, E-Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. So what we are getting to right now, before I say anything, all right, if you guys see, um, you know, some of my, um, my learning experiences, what, you know, I learned about South Africa is, um, you know, I look at like a lot of, um, the, the stuff I look at, I really enjoy it. And I had, all of it isn't like positive, but I guess, um, cause there was a girl, she ended up leaving a comment basically saying how, you know, South Africa, they came like a, a long way, you know, because I was saying like how a lot of people just look at South Africa as being poor. No, not. I don't look at it like that. It's just something what I do is I look at just documentaries and just stuff that I usually like I wouldn't really see like I would figure maybe like some people that you guys will want me to watch some documentaries that you know show something deep you know instead of just like for example I did Cape Town I ended up looking at a documentary with that and I really enjoyed it and it was about Cape Town but it talked about like a lot of problems they had and um you know, I just, I watch some other things and, you know, it, it makes stuff look sad. You know, I don't look at everything like that. I just want you guys to know that before I start this. All right. Um, I just, I just want to look at something different. I don't want to look at something like, oh, hella happy. You know, I just don't, you know, I don't want y'all want to see like, like everything was deep in it, but I'm gonna start doing something that's just not negative, you know, cause I understand how, you know, a lot of people, you know, they look at foreigners, especially people from the US, you know, um, you know, people would think like, oh, South Africa is poor and all that. You guys, I used to think it was like that when I was younger, cause that's all they, you know, that's all they show, especially on TV, like they'll show things um with um how hiv was over there like they'll show stuff to make it look like um like everybody has hiv out everybody like they show so many kids they were very skinny when i was younger man when i was in like what junior high elementary i thought it was like that why that's all they show i didn't know anything else about it you know but I already know Africa is coming a long way. Come on. I'm a, I'm a grown man. I already know that I've watched things about it. You know, I just, I just want to see stuff under the ground, you know, like basically stuff that's different, you know, cause I don't, I would figure a lot of people don't want me just to look at the joy and stuff like, like, Oh, here goes Cape Town, the beautiful beaches or, you know, like, I don't know. And so that's what I figured. But what I am going to do is I'm going to start finding some other things that I can look at um, that can show the good side of um, South Africa and just Africa, period. OK, so I don't want you guys to just think that I'm looking at negative things. All right. I understand, you know, maybe if some people feel that way, I'm not trying to I don't want you guys to feel like that. I'm talking too much. All right. Anyways, let's check this out. All right. This is going to be some good for me. It's called the uh, 12 surprising facts about South Africa. Let's get into it. All right. South Africa, a beautiful, warm country filled with great stories and people. A place. What's up with this nigga's voice, yo? He almost... Hey, do you guys know how quick I was just to start smiling? Because just how happy his voice sounded? All right, anyway, let's go. A place that is one of the most developed countries in all of Africa, with an amazing population of 50.59 million people, making up slightly more than 5% of the total population of Africa. And this I would have never known that. One of the most developed cities. I would have never known that before. Before I watched this, I would have never in my life known that. 
this country not only shares borders with other nations, but the vast open waters of the Indian and South Atlantic Ocean. Now welcome to FTD Facts guys, this is the channel where we like to go around the world and look at people's cultures and places from different places than our own. And with that, today we are talking about the powerful nation of South Africa. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Wapple, and for South Africa, this is a country that, well, we've had people request us to do this country for a long time. And because of that, we gotta thank everybody who suggested this country, and for those who are just joining us for the first time, this is a channel where we like to take a lot of recommendations from you, the viewers. So get down there in the comments below and get active. Now before we get into this episode, I want to know what is the best thing about your country? Because a lot of you guys are from different countries, me here, I'm from Canada. I really don't know what I like most about my country because there's so much. But if you guys got a list, put it down there, I want to read and I want to know why. Now if you were to ask somebody to name the capital of South Africa, most people will probably answer Johannesburg. Because it's one of the biggest cities and it just seems like the right thing to say. And even though it is the largest and most financially important city in all of South Africa, Africa, that answer is not actually correct. The truth is, in fact, South Africa has three official capital cities. Pretoria, what? for example, is the administrative side. Bloemfontein has control of the judicial side of South Africa. And as for Cape Town, it's the legislative capital of South Africa. South Africa is also quite... Wow. I would have never known that. Three capitals? That trips me out right there. And I didn't even know Cape Town was part of that, too. That's crazy. I'm liking this. See, already I'm learning stuff, y'all. For real. No bullshit. I just want you guys a multi-ethnic and multicultural society. It has one of the most diversified cultures and languages in the entire world. And although in history there's been a lot of problems over race and culture within the country, the nation has 11 official languages recognized in the constitution. Those are English, Afrikaans, Indibele, Pedi, Sotho, Venda, Hosa, and that is Hosa with a click, that's how you pronounce an X. Swazi, Songa, Swana, and of course Zulu, with Zulu being one of the most spoken languages. And as for South Africa, it definitely has a record. Because there is no other country in the world that has as much official languages as this country. Now South Africa is also considered a treasure trove for archaeologists and paleontologists. I didn't know about how many languages there were out there until I started doing um, the music. The country alone has produced some of the world's oldest and most valuable fossils to date. And of course, about a fifth of the world's gold comes from mines in South Africa. And speaking about digging and moving earth around to find these treasures, let's talk about the ground itself. Because every year, South Africa moves about two inches farther away from South America. And this is a subtle continuation of what is known as the continental drift. Now when it comes to health and sciences, the doctors of South Africa have done something that nobody else has. And that is the first ever heart transplant was carried out in the country. This was done at the Groot Schur Hospital in Cape Town. In 1967, the operation was conducted by surgeon Christian Barnard. And even though the patient died 18 days later, it was considered a success. This is because he died from double pneumonia, but his body had not rejected the heart. And from that moment on, it paved a whole new pathway into heart surgery, which has helped millions of people. Now, one thing about South Africa is there are some beaches that you can go and hang out with penguins, which I find very weird because I thought penguins really liked the cold. Believe it or not, there are various breeding colonies of African penguins, also known as the jackass penguin. They are usually found <laughs> on the western coast of South Africa, and one of the most famous famous places to visit these birds is in Boulders Beach, which is just south of Cape Town. With over 6 million trees, Johannesburg is considered to have the largest man-made forest on the entire planet. Originally, Johannesburg was considered a grassland, but they changed that relatively quick. This is because trees were planted in the 19... I hope you guys are watching this with me. I hope you guys are still watching because this is like really some stuff I never knew. And I'm going to go, obviously, into it and give my opinion after, you know, this is over, y'all. 
19th century in order to provide wood for the growing mining industry. One amazing thing that I always loved about South Africa is if you look at the map, you will find something very odd about it. And that is the country known as Lesotho, which is completely landlocked and surrounded by the entire country of South Africa. And although it is its own country, if you look on a map and talk to some people, some people will say it should have just been part of the country. One other really interesting thing that is a coincidence within South Africa is it's the only country in the world to have two Nobel Peace Prize winners who had houses on the same street. This is Vilikazi Street in Soweto, Johannesburg, and the Nobel Prize winners that lived on that street were Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. However, South Africa is not just a place of science and opportunity, it's also a place of sport. With soccer or football, however you want to pronounce it, being one of the most popular sports within the country, South Africa was the first African country to host the FIFA World Soccer Cup in 2010. But that's not the only sport it can pull a record from. It is only the second country in the world to have hosted cricket, rugby union, and soccer world cups after England. And not only that, but there is one other thing that the country can be really proud of. It is the only country in the entire world to build nuclear weapons and to voluntarily dismantle its own nuclear weapons program. And to this day, there is no country that has ever done it on a voluntary basis. South Africa may be on the southern tip of Africa, but it accounts for almost 25% of the GDP of the entire African continent. Its economy is twice the size of Algeria, which comes in second of GDP. But that's it guys, that's just a taste of what this great nation is. My name is Dave Wobble and we want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode and taking time to learn about either your country or other countries around the world. But before I get out of this video guys, I want to let you guys know we are trying to incorporate you, our viewers, our fan base into our own videos. As you know- Okay, I'm done. Let me know how you guys feel about that, all right? Let me know. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably think that there's probably really nothing I really learned. You know, if you guys feel that I should learn more, and if there's some more videos, let me know, okay? But I'm surprised about the capitals. That was the first thing he said, the three capitals. That trips me out right there. I would have never known that. I would have never known that. I would have thought Joe Berg was a capital. I would have never known that. That's amazing right there. Oh. Um, yeah, man, there's just so much stuff, you know, everybody can learn about these countries. And I do feel Africa is something that a lot of people should know about. I really do. You know, throughout the world. You know, throughout, you know, America. First person, you know, that's where the people came from. The first people came from Africa, you know. First person on the world, African woman. That's what I feel. That's what I feel like I know. If I'm wrong, then, hey, I don't believe it because I think I'm right about that. You know, people came from Africa. I felt the first person in the world is from Africa, African woman. <sighs> let me know how you guys feel about this all right let me know if you guys feel this video was good for me to watch just for something to start off you know i'm gonna find some more you know um videos about you know south africa and all that so you know thank you for coming y'all let me know how you guys feel about that video i watched go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel all right thank you y'all